Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of the Blast Mini Byte. We're going to have a quick episode today. We're just going to be talking about how we can take a big linked list and then take a portion of it and just kind of reverse it. So the whole idea is that you're given a big linked list and you're given the start of where you want to start. Blah. The start of where you want to begin reversing from and you're also given the end point, the finish point of where you want to stop the reversal. Now we've given a small example, 113572. And as with all linked list, it's connected. And then he is finally pointing to us now. Now, in this example, what we're given is the head, which points here. And we're also given two values. It's two and four. So in this example, what the question requires you to do is that take the whole linked list, take the elements that are starting from 2 all the way up to 4, so that will be 2, 3, 4, and then reverse them. So the end product should look something like this, 11, 7, 5, 3, 2, null character, whatever. And now the idea that we are going to use is that we're going to start unwrapping this little bit, little bit. We're going to go step by step. Let's see how we can go step by step on this. Now, assume that we are going to take this 5 here and put it in between 11 and 3. Okay, let's just do that and see what happens. Okay. What are we going to do? We're going to do 11, 5, 3, 7, and 2. So what happened here? We took this guy and put it in between here. And then the next time we do it, we're going to move it ahead by 1. And then we're going to take that guy and put it in between 11 and 5. So let's say, so what happens next? We have basically 11, 7, 5, 3, and 2. This is exactly what we are looking for, right? We reversed it. It was 3, 5, 7, and now we have the result as 7, 5, 3. Now, how are you going to code this up? The way to code this up is, because it's linked list, you have some easy uh, things that you can do just manipulate the next pointers so in this case what do you think we need to move 5 in between 11 and 3 so for 1 we need to know we need to modify the next of our head or whoever is starting from we also need to know the node that is going to replace and we need to know the node itself right so we're going to call, I'm going to use some names for these because the code's kind of using the same names. So let's start there. Now something, one thing that I'm going to assume is that you have already reached this position. An important thing to note here is that not only do you have to find the node where you have or the position, the position of start, we also need to know the node that's behind start. So it's not really enough to know start. We also need to know the person who is at start minus one. And now let's assume that there was a lot of data behind this. Okay. So we traverse, 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 traverse. We are always looking for next. Right? This guy leaves next. Is it? Uh, have you reached uh, start? So we are always going to go. To start minus one and that start minus one we're going to call it the head sound good I mean it's not really the head of the linked list but it's kind of the head right so we're going to call that the head we're going to call the next pointer of the head as an iterator and it's just the name that the authors wanted to use so we're going to continue using that name and it's an iterator. 
And now next is the tricky part. Do you remember how I took the five and placed it here? And then I moved some pointer and then I moved and I got seven and then I moved back seven back there. And that's going to be the the element that keeps moving. Because we're taking one element and putting it at the front, taking another one and putting it at the front. So that element is going to be tied to your iterator. Okay. And we're going to call that as a temp variable. Okay. And now we can actually get into code. Um, maybe before we get into code, let's define all these guys. So assume that you have a, a while function, a counter that's going all the way until start minus one. So that way you found the head. And what is your iterator? An iterator would basically be what's your iterator? Head of next. Pretty straightforward, right? And then you can start looping through. And now in our example, we'll need to go all the way from start till the finish. So while start, and we're going to use the same. Same variable to just to make life easier. While well, start less and finish, what we're going to do is first we need to define temp. What are we going to define temp as? Temp will be defined as sublist. Let's call the iterator iterators next, right? And then what's the next thing? So in order to decouple everything. What are, what are the operations we're going to do? The first thing that we need to do is we need to remove, we need to um, remove this guy's connection and make him 0.27. And now in code, how do we do that using these variables? What you're going to do is iterator of next is equal to, you guessed it, temp of next, right? And now that link or chain has been broken. What do we do next? The next link that we want to break is between five and seven. So now in this case, what do you think five should point to? So we break that chain and we're going to make 5.23. And now how are we going to uh, point five to three? There are two ways of doing it, right? One way could be to say, well, temp of next is equal to iterator. Now another way of doing it, which is the right way, we'll look at it why, is by saying head of next. And let's, let's just use that for now. So we're going to say temp of next is equal to head of next. Okay. And then finally, what do we do? We need to break this chain that is pointing 11 to 3. Where do we want that to point to? We want it to point to, I guess it again. We want it to point to five. Okay. Now, after the first iteration, what is our current linked list? It looks like eleven, five, three, seven, two. Okay. Now, in the second iteration, what do we do? We're going to do temp is equal to iterator of next. And what is our iterator? Iterator is three. What is iterator of three is next, that is seven. So your temp is now going to point to seven. Yes, you're right. Let's do the same hangama again. What are we going to do? We're going to say that we missed one guy head of next is equal to Okay, let's iterate through this. Now, let's do temp is, that's done. 
iterator of next what's our iterator iterator is 3 3 of next is equal to temp of next that would mean that 3 would point to 2 right and then temp of next would point to head of next now look at this thing if we had said temp of next is equal to iterator it would point to 3 and that's wrong right because we want him to be sitting between 11 and 5 that's why we have to use head of next finally what do we do we break this link and say that 11 points to 7 finally what do you get follow the lines just follow the lines guys it's as simple as that 11 meets 7 7 meets 5 5 meets 3 it's always meaning 3 finally 3 meets 2 so this is a very beautiful and elegant way of just kind of re reversing a sub list now you could extend this to have the entire list now the beautiful part about this is that let's say you wanted to keep doing this right let's say there are more values here three seven eight i mean as long as you f you keep moving your finish more and more you can just keep extending this and you could eventually reverse the entire sub list and now the complexity is basically how many times do you have to do this it's, this is linear so this would be or finish minus start and then you're having constant work being done each time so it's linear time operation for you to do this whole thing you're not taking much extra space maybe just for temp and the iterator but you're really not taking a lot of space so lambda friends is how you would reverse the sub list now the code is in the details please do check it out thanks have a nice day hey everyone if you like the video please make sure to like subscribe and share hmm. um, there's also a gofundme page where you can go and fund my wife's dental school and i would like it if you would donate anything a dollar would be fine Thank you.